Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at task 20M. Now, take your time to read the question and take note of two things that we're going to be using two files which are tax.csv and client.csv. Okay, so we'll go ahead. So I already have these two uh, files open. This is the tax. I mean the tax, the tax.csv, and then this is also the client.csv. Okay. Now the first thing I do is to save my tax as tax 20m. Okay. So I'm going to look up my location, which is in good, and then I'll change it to Excel formats, and then have it as tax 20m. Save that. Now you can know more about how to do this by, by reading this text. Okay. So the function that I'm going to use to solve this uh, question is the VLOOKUP function because the data we want to compare our values to are stored in vertical form. Okay. So if it is st stored in horizontal form, then we can use the HLOOKUP. But for this exercise, we're going to use the what? The B lookup function so as you can see this is our the file that we want to compare our values to so it is stored in what in a vertical form that's why we're going to use the v lookup okay so i'm going to go ahead to execute the task so i'm going to use so I'm, i'll go to c3 to equal sign have my v lookup okay and then take the lookup value so take note of the clue that excel is giving you here okay so i'm going to uh, take the um the task code okay which is b3 the task code column so i'm going to have b3 and I'm, of course i'm going to go choose take my table array which is an another file so where is it yep. and then i'm going to take it over here okay so make sure you select exactly what we have here so i'm going to go back and then have the post sign. Note that your table array is already in absolute cell reference or it's absolute reference. Okay, so I'm going to have two as my in the, uh, column index number because we're comparing the value in the second column of the other file. So I'm going to also choose false because what I want is the exact match, not an approximate match. Okay, so I'm going to say enter. So I'm going to have this. So if you look at this now, six is the task code here is six, and if you go to our table array here, where does six fall? This is six, and of course it gives us L G Y. Okay, so which is very correct for for that. All right. So um, let me explain the formula once more. So of course we're going to use the VLOOKUP because our file, which is here, is already stored in a vertical format. Okay, right. So that's that for that. Sorry. So um, the client, of course, the our range is A2 to B8 and also the client uh, file. And then we're taking the two because we want to compare the value here, which is in task uh, six here. That's B3, which is in, in task code column. We want to compare this six here with what is here. So whatever is six, 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 it looks uh, what the client is, who the client is in the second column here so the second column which represents the two now in most cases you can have it at the fourth fourth place so it depends on where the data is stored so if the data is stored at the fourth or the or the third uh, column you can use three but in this case it is stored in what in the second column okay so the the um the last one which is the false the false false gives us what exact match okay so if you look at this task code here, everything here, you find out that everything is in whole number. Okay. So we exactly want exact match. Okay. So that is that is just a simple explanation of the VLOOKUP function and the formula. Okay. So I'm going to re replicate my formula and then see what happens. So if you look at if you take a look at this now, we have task code as what as four here. So we're going to see 
have become. So if you look at the second, our lookup table, you find out that four represent that same thing. So you can check for other numbers. So one represents root um, root trainer. Okay, so if you if you check check it out, one represents that. Okay, so our formula works properly. Okay, so um, now let's test for something because we have the if you look at the formula, you will see that this is um, true, right? So let's see, let's have false there. I mean, sorry, this is false for exact match. Now I want to, I want to actually have something like 5.2 here at some um, cell B24, and then see what happens to our formula. We find out that this is not applicable. Okay, but now because what we want is the exact match according to the formula here. Now, what I'm going to do, if I have true, if I go to my, if I delete that formula and then uh, have true right there. So, let, sorry. Uh, sorry. So, uh, I want to have true. I want to select two right there and then enter. And then you find out that it gives it an approximate match this time. Okay. So, if I have something like uh, 5.9, it's still going to give it an approximate match. So, that's what the, the true function stands for so in case of so and if I have this 5.9 uh, of course it's going to give it five actually okay so it's going to give it a bin account bin account that I'm, I'm correct so five so approximately so if it's 5.9 it's still going to give it five okay so that is what happens so it's going to give it something close something like that so that's what the false the sorry that's what the true uh, means here, which is the approximate match. Okay, so you can go ahead to change the values. I mean, for you know uh, the task code and see how what changes there. So I'm going to take it back to false. Okay, and then leave it like that, and then come here to change it to five, which is what is there originally. Okay, so I can have the correct value there. Okay, okay. So uh, that is it for this exercise. Please, if you have any question. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to answer that. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also share the video. So thank you so much. Have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next video.